friends this is deepthi da and we are talking about html hypertext markup language so let's begin these are the various versions of html and right now we are in year 220 and we are still working on html and in 2013 xhtml5 came into existence and, and we are in 2020 and we are still working on the development html Hypertext markup language is the primary language for making static web pages. So first you should know what is primary language and what is programming language. So programming language means any language that perform any operation for us that is we give input to it and it perform many operations like we do operation in C++ C language Java we use while loop for loop and, and they give output to us that is called as programming language but when we talk about html html is used to only display the content on web pages that is why it is called as primary language and not programming language okay and so, html is not at all a programming language now you should know the meaning of static if i do not use javascript in my website it means it is only displaying the content i cannot give input if it is developed by tim berner lee in 1990 and it is used to create electronic document see whatever the page you are watching on your internet these are called as web pages where the world wide web is the collection of many web pages and a website means collection of interlinked web pages and all of you are aware of the hyperlink so html is case insensitive that means even if you write html in capital or small letter it doesn't make any difference to the text editor okay so in html we have series of elements okay which tell the browser how to display the content with the help of tag we can write heading paragraph and table well browser do not display the html tag and it only display the content that is written in these tag okay so this must be clear to you okay when we are talking about html you should also be aware of what is cascading strategy so like i said html provide structure in our body skeleton is the structure in the same way when you talk about website when you talk about web pages html is the structure and when you talk about cascading style sheet cascading style sheet means the appearance which we want to give to a structure so css in a simple mechanism for adding style to a web document by formatting font colors spacing so this is the presentation language our website look beautiful because of css this is the syntax which is written and i'm going to use little bit css in our coding part okay so what is the difference between html and css Like I said, HTML is the primary language for the creation of web pages. In the same way, CSS is used for presentation and controlling the appearance of the web pages. HTML provides structure; it describes presentation. HTML tells the browser about heading, paragraph, image, list, and CSS tells the browser about the layout, about the appearance, color. We gonna use, we gonna use red font, Algebraian, Times New Roman, Arial look. HTML tells the browser to use an image, but where to keep that image? In left side, right side. We should. We want to give border. We want to repeat this image. This is possible because of CSS. So, in simple terms, you can say HTML provide the basic structure which is enhanced and modified by CSS and JavaScript. Well, when we talk about dynamic pages, for example, I want to write my name in any form that is only possible because of JavaScript. So, this is an additional page. We will talk about it. But first, we have to learn HTML, then we have to learn CSS, and then. we talk about javascript this is the simple document of html in the, the first line tells me that we are working in html5 the next line tells me that html is the root element of your web pages 
and hit will give the meta information meta means information about any data and title simply means the title of your page like in word file we have title bar in and in which whatever the name you want to give the file will be displayed in the same way whatever the name you want to give to your html page written in the page title whatever the content you want to display in your website will be written in your body tag okay. this is the html page structure the html page is divided into two parts head and body head will give the meta information and body will display all the content you want to display on your website here is the first example of our program deepthi is the title now i have to save the file as save as ex11 or whatever the name you want to give to the file and dot html would be the extension of the file and save and this is our html page now we have to open it and you can see the title deepthi and in body part you can see my first body and my first parent okay like any other programming language like c c++ or java programming language if i want to write a code for a program i need a software where i can write my code in the same way we need a text editor for writing code of html so we have many text editor the simplest text editor is notepad that is available on your computer as a text document it is preferred because when you write code in your notepad you have to write everything by yourself and you will memorize everything okay in this video we going to use notepad that is the simplest and for beginners this is the best text editor and then we have some professional text editor like you need to write the whole code because suggestion you just click it and everything will be displayed in front of you i will show you so first we will open text editor so right click of the mouse after new go to text document a new file will be open in front of you double click it and now you have to write the code so the difference between professional and text editor is i have opened my video studio case it is already open and now i will write the element p okay so whenever i write p it will it is showing a lot of option in front of me so i don't need to write the whole element now i can write anything between the two tags now i'm writing this so this is one option let me show you again see now if i want to add a division tag div it is showing a lot of options and i have written only one these are the building block of any html page so element is consisting of starting tag and end tag and whatever the content you want to write you have to write in between attributes means property or additional information about the element and it always comes in pair we will give a name to the property and we will put a value in that property like in programming language we use variables in the same way you can compare attributes to a variable like i am taking variable a and i am giving a value 5 to it in the same way we can take many attributes like background color body color font size font style and i can give values to it for example red color times new roman style font will be 20 pixel so these are the different option in which we you can use attribute and you can add information to your elements okay. html tag these are the basic formatting tools that is used in html and these are the coded commands which specify how different path or text or graphic of web page should be displayed you should know that html tags are divided into two pair tag and singular tag well pair tags have opening and closing tag pair tags always work in pair that is why it is called a pair tag but single tags there are many singular tags that is very useful for us like break line horizontal line link these are unpair that means we do not need a closing tag for it but they are working fine meta tag give relative data about the web page to the search engine and we have many keywords to use meta information and we will talk about it 
in later part we have divided tags into four parts on the basis of their usage like formatting tags that is used for formatting of font colors making text bold underline we so basically the tag which is used for the formatting of content or layout it comes in formatting tag base structure tag the tag that is not responsible for formatting but only responsible for creating a structure in our html page is called the base structure tag all of you are aware of the the submit button the click button the radio button when we click a submit button whatever the data you write it in the form will be saved in our database so these are the controlling tags we use in html with the help of jquery or bootstrap interactive tags see when we fill forms there are so many information from us like the address phone number password and we can write in web pages because of these interactive tags so these that help us to give input to the web pages when interactive tag html headings are defined from h1 to h6 tag where h1 is the most important heading and as you go downward the least important heading it paragraph adds or starts with a new line and browser automatically adds some white spaces or margin before or after paragraph so break is an empty tag and it allow you to decide where the text will break on a line that element causes the browser to display a horizontal line in your document and hr does not does not use a closing tag we have so many attributes of horizontal rule like size which give the size of the line which give how thick your line break should be notion if you want to give shading to your horizontal rule you can use shade or no shade alignment where you want to align your line vertical horizontal in center we'll do practicing only then we will be able to understand a second program and you can see heading 1 to heading 6 heading 1 is important heading 6 is least important now i have to save the file as save as now i am keeping it example 2.html is the extension and i have opened the file see, you can see heading 1 is important and heading 6 is less important now i'm making some changes like i'm putting a hr hr horizontal line between h2 and h3 and break line so that heading after heading there should be a gap of one line and if i want to add more break line i can add by adding br br again so you can see i have added three time now save as in example 2 i'm making it example 3.html now i have to open it and you can see after heading 2 and heading 3 we have two lines and after uh, had 4 and heading there is a big gap and heading is the title which we have changed now i will show you if i want to make some changes in hr or i want to add some attributes in hr we have made changes size and no shade and alignment we have added let make it left now again we are saying it in the same file save and now refresh the button and you can see this is the shade we get after adding shade and let me change the size and make it little bit more and again i'm saving it in the same file and refresh the button and you can see the changes see because html do not understand extra spaces extra line so it is not necessary that whatever you write in different style the same result will be displayed in your website or web page so if we apply an element pre it preserve both space and line break and here is the example as you can see i have written poem in my notepad and i want it to be displayed in the same manner but in html spaces and new lines are ignored so let us check we are saving it as save as and making it example 4.html is the extension and you can see the changes by opening the file 
see i have opened my file and like i said that it does not understand spaces and new line so i want to add pre opening and closing tag so that my poem will be displayed in the same format as i have written in note text pad and you can see the changes